have reached the voicemail box of Kino. Hello. There's a problem, right? Mm -hmm. The person you're trying to reach is not available right now. If you need further assistance, enter pound now. Okay, great. Now it's working. Hi, right, so I'm just sorry for the delay in the live stream, and we are good to go. As you can see on my screen, uh, that uh, we have opened Figma, and today we will do some design work. And let me know if the volume is too high. I'll just decrease the sound. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. So today I am design redesigning the Code Carrot blog website. Uh, not actually like redesigning the whole website. Just uh, I'm just going through the process like uh, redesigning the components instead of whole uh, website. So currently I am working on the, the card component where we show the, the blog itself. Uh, for example, when you just go to a uh, code carrot uh, blog, just, uh, just say let me share the link of uh, the blogging website which I am working on. Okay, so this is the link I am working on. And uh, when you will just open the home page. Uh, you will see that the blog will render in the form of cards and currently we are using um, more or less this layout but, but uh, there is uh, no name or the, this mill read uh, but we uh, are reiterating the design and then I came up with this idea where we can show the avatar of the author and then I just came up with another idea where we will add the category of the blog post and then I just um, use some prototyping tools of the Figma and test it like what if we hover on the specific part uh, I think 
just a second i don't remember it i, I think the this work i have done i think uh, a week ago or two or three weeks ago i don't remember <coughs> okay so over here it is showing that if we over on the category page i mean sorry the category um, the that category um, what is called tab i suppose then uh, it will uh, the color of that uh, text will get dark and same for the uh, for this um, this card where if we uh, hover on the title uh, the color is the color get changed and same for the the author name uh, but it um, didn't go very well uh, i didn't uh, like that concept very much so uh, i'm just working on the third concept uh, yeah so that was the first second third yeah so that's the third concept and i'm sure it will be much better because uh, i don't want to waste much of time on uh, the single thing and also uh, because uh, i have to just redesign the every component of the website and we have to work a little bit faster also that's why so if you have any suggestions regarding the design of this uh, layout or how we can improve it let me know and even let me know if you are facing some kind of loading issues on the live stream from my end i can see the stream health is uh, green means it's healthy and okay so we will just uh, continue the work so till now in this uh, in this concept what i have done i just created a the background um, yeah, the background layer um, and then I add a uh, image. Um, so as you can see, the overall pattern will be the same, where the image will be at the top, and then the text and the other content will be at the bottom. And now I will add. So I will just uh, copy paste that. What's happening? Okay. Yes, that I have created here different uh, three types of uh, tagging method like how uh, I want to display the categories uh, first of all I thought that we can just simply show the text or I thought we can convert to some kind of an, a container uh, as you can see in the screen or I thought we can just add, add, uh, add it as a square instead of a rounded corners but i like that uh, like the rounded corners so i am using that and uh, if you want to join my discord server uh, you can just uh, join it uh, we are uh, growing at a flat rate i mean uh, it's there are not much members but we are growing and you can join it and uh, the link is in the chat uh, we love to uh, chat with you and you can share your thoughts or chat with other uh, members in the discord server
okay so this looks good for now and yeah if you are not familiar with blockchimp uh, it is an uh, open source project which i have worked earlier and it is uh, in the development and uh, blockchimp is a way to create change blocks for your products and it's an awesome product uh, i'm sure you will definitely like it just give it a try um, uh, it is built in jackal and it's a jack based thing basically uh, in the core of the project um, you can uh, use it anywhere it's it creates a page uh, you can host it anywhere it's a free and open source project and if you want to know more about the blockchain itself i will share the link of blockchain also We have defined all the content already. <coughs> we can just copy paste all the content and we can rearrange it later on. I'm just uh, not this one. Uh, I'm still not sure that we should add the avatar um, and this thing, uh, this uh, this bottom section because most of the, I mean, all of the articles are written by me itself or a few of the articles are taken as source from uh, other websites for knowledge sharing purposes This looks good and yeah so it's uh, equally on the both sides I'm sorry guys my throat is a little bit not uh, in the mood of speaking very much okay. 3.50 and it should be 3.50 3.30 it should be centered okay and 10 pixel margin yeah okay so it does look good but i'm still concerned regarding the colors of the whole thing i'm uh, yeah this color is uh, this color looks good since the background of color of the website is white itself and uh, this will uh, the background you can see here this this thing uh, will be the hover effect when uh, i mean to see mouse effect when the user will uh, hover on the the car the background color will pops in and we we'll, yeah pops in is that the right word to say pops in yeah let me know if this is the right word for uh, what should we call it that um, yeah okay so the text color uh, i have created uh, i mean i created a uh, mm, 
this color palette and uh, just see which color looks good uh, these uh, I'll just show you the color palette itself so these three colors are the brand color of the code carrier itself these three and this one uh, is the color palette I have created for the it's basically a kind of a gray color palette to use for the text but um, I just found this on the internet so I'm thinking I can use 800 this this color Okay, this color looks cool. Uh, yeah, so we can uh, what we can do we can uh, use an over effect again on the title itself where the color will get uh, where the color will change and it will change to black color when the user will over it. So it will cure for effect. And uh, we need to keep it more lighter and again the it should be thicker. Okay, In center and the margin should be I don't know. And the margins are the, the size of the container is not right. We need to change it. We can do it auto height. Yeah. I think it will work. Something is wrong. Uh, auto resize is not working. Oh shit. I need to do a more. My PC is getting a lot slower. I have opened a lot of windows. I have opened this uh, this Figma application, and you can just see at the bottom of the how many applications I have opened. We just uh, do it to full speed. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And let me know, guys, if the song is okay. I mean. It is too. I mean, it's not too loud. I can decrease the decrease the volume. So let us we will just leave it and um, we will see if we can do this uh, later on. Now the color for the, the description. And uh, if you have noticed that uh, if you have visited on the website, uh, the the code carrier blog website, so you must have noticed that the disk the the characters in the description and the title are not matching the I mean the size is not matching so I think I had I, I was using some kind of an, um, a function where we can truncate the I mean the uh, slice the text for uh, to, uh, to a certain limit of characters so for the title I have set it 54 and for the description I think I have set it to 130 I suppose I don't remember it correctly. But I think I have set that only, but still it is not matching the, uh, I mean, it's not matching uh, the size. A uh, few uh, description are uh, ending with earlier or they are just exceeding and the text, the text is getting truncated. I'm still not sure how to deal with that. Uh, still, there is uh, there is a solution for that, but the problem again is that um, it's just a way to deal. Uh, so 
it's just a CSS style where we can uh, uh, hide the text after a certain number of lines. Uh, but uh, I have checked the internet. Can I use website? Uh, I think um, most of the browser do support, but uh, I think there is a problem with uh, Opera and the Mozilla a little bit. No, I think uh, I mean it's uh, with the uh, yeah, it's with Edge and the uh, Opera. This is 20. Okay, so I just need to change the color. I'm still not sure if we are, uh, uh, that I, should I use this or not. Because uh, again, as as I mentioned, that most of the blogs are written by me, and it looks weird that uh, everywhere uh, there's a that in every card there's my image only. So. And okay, we'll just create the design for that. But uh, in the code, we can uh, write some perfect function where we can enable or disable it anytime. Let me just change the color of this one. So, this is the body color, and I think we can just let me just check the reference over here. Okay. So, you hmm. so what do you guys say which color we should choose for the description and like should I go for these colors or these colors okay let me just go for uh, 700 Earlier we have selected 800, I suppose. Yeah, we have selected 800. Just a second, just a second, guys. Okay. <coughs> And now we can use it. Use this. Mm. It doesn't um, show much of the difference. We also need to decrease the line height between the heading. Um, I just found this uh, on the material design that uh, because uh, I am using uh, I have this uh, before starting this live stream I have just uh, both I just went through the material docs that uh, how we should uh, use the colors and uh, the typography and I found out that um, in certain cases we can um, increase the line height between the descriptions. So we are already using 110%. So that's fine. We can just we just need to decrease the. Uh, so I think we are already good with this. Yeah. Okay. So we are this way. What if I do 50%? Uh, didn't change anything. Um, it just changed the the container size. So I think uh, I think it's a bug in the paragraph spacing. So I think it's a bug in the in the Figma itself. Okay, so we can go for 80% here, that's fine. So it's working correctly over here. Uh, you can see if I go again with 110. So the space, is, the, space uh, the, the space between the, uh, the lines do get increased. But uh, it is not working in the, in the title. So, does it look good? I don't know. 
let me check if I do this toggle thing. This is the, I mean, without overstate, and this is the overstate. I don't know. Now let me just try the. <coughs> let me try the other color also. This function. Okay. So this is the the author and the. So we can do this also. <coughs> And the spacing should be 20 pixel, and it should align over here. And this one over this side, and it should be in the middle. Okay, look so. I'm sorry guys, I'm just uh, coughing in the mic itself. Okay, so we got this one and, and it's 20 over here, 20. Yeah, that's, oh no, I think it's 26 or 28. That's not good. We need to decrease the height by 8 pixels. Yeah, that's fine. That looks good. Uh, what do you say, guys? Uh, does it look good? Uh, we can hide different colors. Mm. You know what? Let me just extend the. Let me try with different colors. Uh, I'm I'm definitely sure with uh, this background color, but I'm still uh, not sure with the uh, this uh, category uh, this category color and and uh, this description and this one. I'm only just uh, fine. I have just finalized the color of this background and the title. So what we should use over here so uh, it's in just a simple simple you can say uh, a tag we can see so we can use this one because for the background uh, background color of the card we have used this color and we just use a little bit darker uh, color for the for the category <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know. It doesn't uh, stand out from the background. Uh, what if we? <coughs> so now it uh, does stand. Uh, so let me get that a little bit more darker. Uh, we don't want to make it too weird. Also, that uh, that on the white background it looks very weird. We just need to maintain that, maintain that the line between the both the colors. So yeah, I think this one looks fine to me, but it's still dark in a little bit. What we can do, we can change the color from here. Uh, uh, it, would, it would be nice if they could add some kind of a feature where we can magnify the color at specific region because from here, uh, if you want a detailed uh, color uh, in the specific region, that's uh, a very hard thing. Okay, 
And yeah, guys, I just forgot to mention that uh, I have recently made few changes in the Discord server that uh, you can, um, you can of course join the Discord server. But uh, additional to that, uh, if you are interested uh, in uh, doing and live session with me uh, on, on the twitch live stream uh, you can join the, the you can join the if you are if you join the discord server you will see that there's a uh, there's an on your uh, audio channel and you can join that uh, on your channel by being a guest role in the discord server and to be a uh, the guest role in the discord server all you need is to type the uh, i will just uh, show you just a second okay so this is my discord and as you can see uh, so what you need to do you can just type uh, a second okay so you need to type donate and uh, you will get this uh, this box uh, with the attachment so you need to just click on this one purchase rules from the server so when you click this one you will redirect it to a page uh, it's taking a lot of time I have opened a lot of applications so I'll just tell you what will happen so once you will click on this page um, you will uh, I mean even once you will click on this uh, um, you will redirect it to a page where you can select uh, the guest role and you can just subscribe to that role and it will help me to run the live stream and you will get a chance to be with me on air and also there's a, a few other roles uh, there are few other paid rules. Uh, if you once you will visit that, uh, once you will visit that uh, page uh, after clicking this one, after clicking this link, uh, if you don't want to uh, uh, pay for the for the for the rule, you are uh, free. Uh, you are free to join the Discord server. It's totally free. Uh, you can um, hang out in the general. Uh, uh, general channel in the Discord server. I just share the link uh, in the chat. Okay, let's get back to the design work. I think there is a problem with this. So we already deal with that. Okay. So this color we get a little bit lighter. And this one looks good. So this color is visible on the on this background also and if we hide it it is visible that time also yeah this looks good now and now we need to change the color of the text okay. uh, my machine is getting a lot slower uh, you can see when i zoom out and zoom it uh, uh, me i mean um, the figma has uh, improved, uh, improved the speed of the, of the server but uh, on the machine you can see there is this uh, glitch that you can see it's not uh, zoom, uh, getting zoom, uh, zoom uh, smoothly instead it's uh, showing a glitch okay so we need to change the color of the, this category text we can go for uh, 500 i suppose uh, since uh, it is not uh, prioritized that uh, we want uh, the viewer should to look at this 
teachers and to give an emphasis here to the categories is we need little bit more darker okay yeah, so that's that's fine mm -hmm. that looks good and for the description now uh, wait a second, we can use the same color for the for this one also. And this should be bold. I think it should be regular. It should be regular. Or we can set it to medium. I mean yes, semi bold. Yes, and hold also looks fine. Now we need to change the color of the of the description. For the description, we need seven. <coughs> Let me try this uh, this color palette. So this color palette matches the um, the brand color of the code carrot and I'll just go for the 500. Uh, it will, I know it will look a uh, little bit weird. Yeah, it does look weird. This color should be lighter uh, from this one. And uh, it should be just a second. We are using uh, these colors and just a second. Okay, guys. Because we should reuse um, color which is related to, for example, for mostly headings and text related, which is uh, main, for example, the headings, the paragraph, the body, and that should be uh, that the color should be uh, black or in the range of black. For example, this color palette is in the range of black over here, and we should use this one. Mm, so the title, I'm not sure. Uh, let me try this one. It does look good, but again, it, sorry. Uh, yeah, it does look good. Not bad, I mean, but still, it's too dark. And if we use the other color. description and on the dark color for the heading 
but uh, the problem is that if we do that transition effect, uh, let me check the color range. Okay, so it is over here. So here that that was fine. We can easily get that transition. Now, yeah, so the color looks perfect also, but it doesn't match this one. This uh, it looks yeah. So the problem is that um, these uh, the three things: the category, the the author, and the lead time uh, looks uh, looks the same. I mean, it matches. Uh, it's grouped together because of the color thing, and the title and the description do stand out because of the because the color is too dark that's good but um, again um, those color are too dark also hmm. so what do you say guys uh, do you have any suggestions regarding this one that how we should um, color it Let me just create a copy of it here. Mm -hmm. okay. And now uh, I will try uh, the lighter version of the color. We have used this one for the for the avatar, right? We will use this one for the for the heading. And this one for the description. I'm just testing and see which one will Difference. Okay, let's hide both of these. So, if we zoom out, um, there's not much of difference in the color, but if we zoom in. Uh, we do get to see the color difference. I think this one looks much better because the the title and the description description do stand out. Uh, but over here, uh, it get mixed in. Yeah. So I got an idea. I got an awesome idea. So what we can do, we can what is happened? Yeah. So we will use this one when the color uh, when uh, it is not in the hover state, and we will use this one when it is in the hover state because uh, because when the user will uh, see all the cards. Um, and uh, if we use this one for uh, just taking that assumption, if we use this one uh, without an overstate, uh, it will look very weird uh, where all the cards uh, typed and in the description will stand out and the user will get confused which one to click. But over here, uh, if we use this one, uh, uh, over here the title and the description to get mixed in with the whole font test. With um, sorry, with the with the more content, and uh, so it looks good that way. Yeah, so it was not a bad idea to create this color palette, and uh, I think we use all the colors, most of them. Yeah. It's not. Idea. 
we have customized this one, this color, yeah, only this one. And the rest of them looks nice, totally. Okay, so this one looks good. Yeah. So this one is finalized. And if you have any suggestions again uh, regarding this one, you can just uh, write them in the chat, or you can even uh, use the the Discord server to send the message. Just don't forget to uh, at mention me so that I don't miss the, uh, the message. Okay. Okay. So, like, what's the time now? Okay. So, uh, we are just uh, did a live stream of one hour and seven minutes. Not bad. And I think mm, I just. Um, and the live stream over, over here I was just testing the live stream today uh, because I just uh, uh, I just changed my uh, network connection to a new network and I was seeing if uh, we get a, a better internet speed so I think um, uh, the, the experience was good and even uh, because from my end I can still see the the stream has, is uh, is healthy but uh, from your end because you are watching the live stream and if you are facing some kind of an issues uh, in the live stream uh, do let me know um, because um, with the feedback only uh, things get improved and yeah see you bye bye And thanks for joining by and hanging out with me. Uh, again, just, um, just a reminder that uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I will share my Twitter handle in the in the chat, and you can also join our Discord server. And you can help me to run live stream by giving me some tips. Uh, the link I have, I have shared the link in the chat itself uh, or if you um, if you want to join me uh, join I mean if you want to join the the chat uh, I'm sorry if you want to join the on air channel uh, that you want to talk to me uh, on air while I'm doing the live stream you are most welcome you can subscribe to the, the you can subscribe to the, uh, the guest role uh, so all you need is to, to join the discord server if you are not joined already just join the discord server and write uh, donate in the in the general channel and you will prompt with the with the attachment where i'll just show you a bit okay so as you can see um, once you will type the donate uh, you will prompt with this attachment all you need is to click on this one purchase zone from the server and uh, there will be just bunch of options um, so I think currently there are two options uh, uh, first one is the, the subscriber uh, in the subscriber you will be able to uh, join the music channel via the music run 24 7 except uh, when I'm doing live stream, the audio channel, I mean the music channel will be not available. Um, but still, I'm 
configuring uh, I mean, I'm still doing some kind of a configuration that uh, that few people who want to still listen to the music while I'm doing live stream so that they can listen to the to, to the music but uh, apart from that uh, they can uh, they can talk to me uh, via audio channel you can see there is a let's talk audio channel uh, you can talk to me uh, directly via audio and if you subscribe to the to the guest role you will be able to join uh, the on air channel uh, when i am live you can talk to me directly uh, on the live stream and you will also get the same tweaks pre which you get in the subscriber channel and sorry subscribe the role and that's all i have got in the live stream so i will see you in next one and we will do the next live stream on this week saturday uh, i do a live stream every saturday at 11 pm at indian standard time okay see you bye bye